towards achieving all of uh, the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals in Egypt. Dr. Naveen Makram, the Digital Transformation Consultant. Thank you very much, ma'am, uh, for your time and apologies for the uh, technical uh, difficulty with the phone lines. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break and we'll be right back to continue with this edition of Cairo Local Time. Stay tuned. Welcome back. And for more news, the Minister of Finance, Dr. Mohammed Might, affirmed the continuation of the economic reform process, which has made the Egyptian economy more capable of withstanding any internal or external crises. We have more details in this story. The Minister of Finance, Mohammed Might, affirmed the continuation of the economic reform process, which made the Egyptian economy more capable of flexibility dealing with internal and external crises and absorbing the largest possible amount of shocks, as he succeeded in containing the consequences of the corona pandemic by achieving a balance between the rotation of the production wheel, preserving the health of citizens in a way that is reflected in promoting the growth of many vital sectors, for Egypt to record the highest semi-annual growth rate since the beginning of the millennium at 9% of GDP during the period from July to December 2021 and to make the Egyptian economy one of the few economies in the world that managed to achieve positive growth rates. During his meeting with a delegation of European Bank for Reconstruction and Development officials headed by Vice President Mark Bowman, the minister pointed to the risks of the current global developments on the economies of developing countries in a way that was clearly reflected in the rise in energy and food prices calling on international financial institutions to take into account the needs of countries developing to deal with these variables. Mark Bowman, Vice President of the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, praised the huge and important reforms 